G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play channel. Why am I here? Well, I can't go too far before telling you why I'm here. But why I'm here is because I want to show off that build behind me again from last week. Oh man, I love that house. It is so beautiful. Uh, I've been doing some work on interiors. We will get into that, but we have so much to do. This is crazy. I said last week I would get a tree farm together. I need to do that. To do the build, I am out of a diorite completely, and I have to lay down a ton of it, as well as iron blocks, smooth stone. I have so many things I have to do. So let's get straight into it. Uh, we'll get back to the tower and we'll just check our diorite supplies. So just hang on a sec. Ah, home sweet home. I do love coming back to the tower. It's always beautiful. We have to get downstairs. So let's head down there. I still haven't built a better way down than to just fall down that way. <laughs> oh, look, there's Zomberg. Look. It's, there he is. Look, he's just so proud of his potato. Look at that. He loves his potato. That's awesome. Okay, that's not why we're here. We're here for... Okay, well, let's first smooth stone because I know where that is. All right. we. I think we're all right for smooth stone. Uh, iron. Yes. Yes. Well, that and we have tons of it down here right we have chests and chests and chests full of iron so we're fine for iron diorite uh, i don't even know where the diorite's kept anymore i think it's in this one no it's not it's in the gravel one of course nine diorite so guess what i'm going to do i am going to go down and mine some diorite i know there is some down these stairs over here so let's get started on that I can hear it now. Ew, gross diorite. Why are you using diorite? Because that's how you guys talk. Um, <laughs> uh, so it, there is a very good reason for it. And the main reason is that if you're doing a lot of white builds, then you really are limited to what you can use. If you use white concrete, then you just have the white concrete block. You have no stairs, you have no walls. Um, if you use quartz, then you have to go to the nether and get quartz, and I don't want to do that. So I tend to use diorite because then you have all the walls and stairs and all the other bits and pieces. So especially if you use the polished variant as well, that looks really good. I'm not going to bore you with sitting here mining a ton of diorite. Let me get this done and I will see you soon. Okay, I think that's going to do us. I've got three shulker boxes full of diorite plus six apparently, and six stone. <laughs> so three of those. Um, that will be, I think that'll be plenty. Now I need to go upstairs and make these into uh, polished diorites. So that's fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second. After much gathering, I stand before you with six shulker boxes. And in these shulker boxes, we have three shulker boxes full of uh, polished diorite we have two boxes full of iron blocks and we have one with some smooth stone and some smooth stone slabs which I have plenty more of but I don't think we're going to need all of that so I will collect this together you're going to watch a time lapse of me start building this thing so let's have a go at it Hi. <laughs> I've, I've put down a lot of blocks since we last talked. Uh, let's let's do one of these. 
look at this, the way I can walk straight up here. I don't know if you'll notice, I stuck down a couple of, uh, are they called cypress trees? Cypress trees. They are. There's a guy, he did a schematic for one of them, and I have just adapted each one off that. So I'll leave a link to that guy's video in the in the comments thing, and you can uh, you can have a look at that. They're beautiful. They they look really nice. Look at look at that. Beautiful big cypress trees, just s sort of heading down. Really going to give this thing some scope, right? Some size, uh, because we want this area to look massive. This is important. This is the main area with an ugly AFK spot up above it, which we will fix because we don't need that anymore. Let's zoom out and have a look from this end. Uh, yeah, it it looks really nice. Like, I like this. This here obviously used to be the squid farm. It still is the squid farm. Uh, we have a way down, look. So this is where all the uh, all the black ink and things are. I, all I did was just block off the water. I was for ages thinking, how do I turn off this farm? Like, I need to turn it off because, I mean, it doesn't... I don't need... Oh, no. <laughs> Good. Okay. Oh no, and we're right back. <laughs> we're right back at spawn. Oh dear. Um, there is no quick way back, and I don't think I've been smart enough to leave an ender chest anywhere. Uh, so let's uh, <laughs> let's head back. Oh no. Oh, luckily I was on top of all those hoppers, hey. Finally, after hours of walking, <laughs> back at the tower. I did manage to get some apples from Fair, Fairview, Fairdale, Fairview, Fairview. Uh, so I will just quickly get an elytra and some uh, rockets and have a nap. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you back at the death point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was a long, drawn-out process. Let's do that again. But this time, let's just... I mean, I know I don't have to take it easy. I could just jump down there again. But, oh, it's not in the... Um, hmm. Oh, you know why? Because I think all these hoppers are full. So I just switched this off just by blocking off the top of it. That was all I came down here to say, was that that was what I did. <laughs> Let me go back up and finish the tour. Anyway, so this all comes up here. It goes all the way up to here. Here. Um, and this is, as I look off into the distance with free cam. <laughs> <laughs> stare off blindly into the distance um yeah so so that's what we have right that's the sort of size and and enormity of what we're doing we have some things that obviously will need to be cleaned up so we have this over here will need to be cleaned up and same on the other side so there they were spawnable points for the um for the squid farm uh there still is some spots over there, but it doesn't matter. We need to get rid of that because we're not worried about squid farm. We have plenty of black ink. Um, and then we have this thing that doesn't yet exist. I am thinking of a palace. Wait, before we get into the palace. So you guys think about it for a second. We, I said last week that I would build a tree farm and I've never built a tree farm before. I think I need some obsidian. I'm not going to use a duper. I'm going to do it just manually with TNT. Uh, and I'm doing it in the tower. I think I'm going to need some obsidian. But Zinkberg, that's not a tree farm. No, it's not a tree farm. 
I've invented something better than a tree farm. I've invented an obsidian farm. And it is so much easier. I'll admit it, I looked them up. <laughs> And they were all sort of put a dispenser here and a dropper here and a half slab here and stick a thing in there and a stair and a water log it and put a trap door and do a thing. No, none of that. I have invented a really simple system here. Invented. Someone else has probably already invented this. People know about this. I just didn't know about this and I made it and I made it up. Um, so first of all, this is... Oh, where am I? This is only going to work if you were smart enough, like me, very clever person that I am. Uh, oh, look at how close I can get here. Um, if you were smart enough to know that you should turn on the lava flow thing when you create a new world, which I did. Um, oh, wow, that's awesome. Um, so all that allows is for lava to act like water, right? So you can create an infinite lava source. Um I, yeah, I set that to on in this world. So that was fortuitous, I guess. Uh, let me show you how this works. So inside this dispenser here is a bucket of water. <laughs> it's pretty technical. Try and follow this. I know you're not all as <laughs> smart with redstone as I am. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just put stuff together and make stuff. So... All this is, is so you have a an, a lava source block there and a lava source block here, one here and one there. And because infinite lava is turned on, then these become infinite lava sources, right? Lava sources, source I. Underneath the lava there are two hoppers that go into this chest. And in the chest is nothing. Now you'll see I had 34 obsidian in my uh, thing because I have been testing this. So all you do is you hit the button and that creates obsidian. Hit it again, turn it off, grab your, uh, you, oh, don't do that. Well, there's no point in me doing that. <laughs> I've just burned my only offer. Ah, hang on a sec, I'll be right back. Okay, nothing happened there. Don't worry about what happened. That's not a thing. <laughs> oh dear. We hit the button. We hit it again. <laughs> I, I, I tested it with so many and it never happened. So we dig through, we stop, we dig through again, we stop, and there you go. And then we hit the thing, we hit it again. I'm worried now. <laughs> and we do it again. So remember where you were on this day when in 10 years people go to you, oh, what, what uh, obsidian farm do you use? Oh, I use the Zinkberg one. I use the Zinkberg farm. Remember that. You were here when it happened. <laughs> And you can tell people the funny story about how he hit the hopper and destroyed it the first time. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make some obsidian. <laughs> I'll be back soon. And from one amazing farm to one complete failure. <laughs> no, it's not a complete failure. This is... Let me show you what... <laughs> I thought this would be easy. I, let, let me go through the thought process, right? So, <laughs> so I built this box or half a box out of, um, out of obsidian because I thought, well, if I'm going to drop TNT from anywhere, I want to make it out of something that doesn't get hurt. So here's what we do. We put down a sapling, right? And we, well, look at that. Wow, we have a tree. That is awesome. And then we go down here. We climb up this ladder. We sneak so we remember that we don't fall off down into the bottom. Uh, and then <laughs> there's our tree, right? <laughs> and then we put down a TNT, we light it, we stand over and we watch it. Bang, right? Beautiful. Worked perfectly. That's great. Then we put down another one. 
And then we... I could probably do this bit with like a dispenser or something, right? Bang, look at that. Blew it up. That's fantastic. So we crouch. We put the thing down. We go there. And then we light it. And then we look over and... Boom. Look at that. Perfect. Now we float down gently. Not falling onto the ground because we remember that we haven't got our feather falling boots on or anything we climb up here we come into the farm or oh, wait did i bring i did bring an axe all right we come into the farm and we chop 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 the three away we pick up those couple of things there's a couple of leaves there they'll they'll disappear on their own but that's fine and then we go over and we have a look at our chests. We have eight saplings. We have two pieces of wood, a couple of sticks, right? So seven. Let's say seven bits of wood, <laughs> two, two sticks, and uh, eight saplings. Right? Really good. Really good farm. That That is really, really good. Or it's not a fair comparison because I haven't got the spruce. But let's take... Let's take oak, for example. So we plant them all in a line like that. We grab our diamond axe and we just chop the tree, right? So I've already gone past the amount of wood that I got from that farm. It hasn't cost me any TNT. So if, if you're the sort of person who's happy to use a duper, I think that's the way to go. And then you can just build the machine. I could probably build the machine without the duper. Maybe I'll do that. I'll have a look at it, okay? Let me have a look at it. Now, back to the thing. There is no way I have managed to line that shot up perfectly. <laughs> so what we have is the beginnings of the Elvish Palace here in Effendale. Effendale. <laughs> That's it. So this is the beginning beginnings of the of the palace. As you can see, lots of detail in this. Um, I've used up, I think, every end rod I have except for one. <laughs> so we'll need to get some more. Obviously, there's no back on this yet. Um, this is going to go a long way back. But um, but yeah, we have we have loads of stuff. Things like here, I like to do this, like throwing the hoppers in. In the middle for a little bit of a deep sort of dark um, accent that that gives you more than just depth it gives you um, like blocks that aren't block shaped which is really good we've obviously got the stairs and things in there too to try and make these archways a little bit different the initial idea for these so the idea for these bits here with the glass in front of them um, actually come from the Sydney Opera House. So that's that's where I got the idea of those. Um, this has brought forward a really big challenge for me. Um, for those of you who watched season one, any of the season one stuff, you'll know how big a challenge I had building um, on diagonals and, and getting this whole build on a diagonal is, um, is really stretching my brain a little bit um, but it's good. I, I, I like to challenge myself. Um, let's just have another look from down here and then I want to have a look um, from up at some different areas. So with the cypress trees, I've still got to get rid of that. Um, I think that's, I think, I mean, it's framed beautifully. We've got to get rid of a lot of the greenery up around there, which I'll probably do. Um, before the thumbnail goes out and yeah that looks really good now what about for scale when we look at it from like over here somewhere oh it's almost wait I, I can probably set my render distance further than that I, think. I keep forgetting that I'm in a single player world and I can actually crank up my settings a little bit further because <laughs> that looks amazing like that that looks so much better having all of that there so yeah what about um so we we put the shaders off and have a look it still looks great yeah that's that's gonna be a really nice build once that's done yeah i 
strength. Wow, that's that's all a bit. That's all a bit impressive. I've never tried to do a, a all in sort of all in iron and diorite type build like something as white and clean as this. And the idea will be that this will be the the not necessarily the centerpiece, but this will be the main hub of the the city. You know, so this is the palace. This is where the royalty are going to live and things like that. Um, and yeah, it'll be sort of the focus of everything that happens around. So probably like royal gardens here, I would imagine, sort of coming down to the water's edge there, um, like a park or something maybe. Actually, maybe even on that side too. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. There's a lot, a lot in sort of plan. I need to be careful of scale of houses. So this house here is actually really big. Um, and we need to be careful when we build in that sort of scale because this, if, if I put a house that big down here, that'll really sort of, um, take down the size of the, of the palace. Oh, that wasn't a good shot. Um, and we want the palace to be really grand and, and sort of bigger. So, so I guess we're going to build some smaller houses around the area we've got to get the pathway finished going over towards there um, and we've got lots of gardening and things to do over there but i think that's probably going to do us for this week guys thank you so much for joining me this week uh i really appreciate appreciate every one of you i'm, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed uh, me going back to building it felt much better last week to go back to that style of video um have a great week, guys. I love every one of you to death. Don't forget to comment and like and subscribe and do all of those things. And uh, I will see you next week with another exciting episode. Have a great week, guys. Bye. Oh, man, that looks pretty. That is really pretty. <sighs>